right, so we're gonna put in some replacement windows. This is actually our garage. This is the last windows we need to replace in our house. So that's why we waited so long. It's the garage windows. It's not really that special, but they are very bad. I'm going to show you what we do to replace these windows. Very simple to do, actually. Uh, we've ordered these because um, it's a uh, odd size, not a standard window size here behind me. Uh, so let me just show you what, what we got going on. So here's the window that we have currently in the house uh, on the outside. If you close zoom in closely, a lot of this wood is in pretty bad shape. I'm going to rip out all the uh, molding around the window here. And if you look closely here, what they've done is they've, I think this is a glass, they've put some glass in here and they put it over the existing exterior molding and then added more molding to the outside. I'm going to go on the inside and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm in the garage now. Um, this is the interior side of the window. And I was saying that the uh, they put some glass on the outside. If you look on the inside here, this is the uh, where a window would have slid up and down into. These windows have actually been removed. They've never been here since we bought the house, so the windows would have gone right here. And somebody removed them and put this in here, the glass, and put some more molding on the outside here. So we're gonna have to rip this all out. And I'm gonna go ahead and rip out all this old window frame. And uh, we'll put our, I'll show you how I put this window in. It's pretty simple. The most amount of work is really uh, doing the trim work around the window. Here's the interior of the new window I've uh, already put in. As you can see, if you look closely here, I've already put some trim piece here on this is the actual window here and I've cut ripped down some trim pieces to put here and then we're going to put our trim top along the outside of the wall here so this one is getting close to being done but that's how it looks once you get the window in the uh, opening we're taking it all the way down to the rough opening and um, gonna shim it up so uh, let me uh, go on to this uh, next window over here and I'll bring you along on my process of uh, putting in a replacement windows. I've seen a lot of different ways on how people put in replacement windows. Some people just remove the actual windows like ours have been removed already and they slide it right in to the existing window frame. Here I'm actually going to remove this window frame and bring it all the way down to the studs here. Um, this thing is old rotted and we're just going to get it done right and uh, clean this all up. So there's going to be a few nails come up here that we're gonna just going to have to pry out along the way here. And they're going to be right in between this. Uh, we'll just get a uh, crowbar and uh, work our way out and pull this sucker out. All right, so here is, this is the actually interior trim work that I'm removing right now, as you can see just pulls off like so and you come over this way you can see this is the interior trim work now what we have left is the actual uh, window frame right here to pull out and this is all trim work on the outside so here's the window frame next to pull out so now I got the uh, interior trim removed now all we gotta do is get our crowbar in here and slide it in like slow and we can pry these nails out from behind the actual window. So as you can see I've loosened it up here. Here's the window frame. All we got to do is uh, pull it out and then we got down to our rough openings where the stud is inside the wall. This actually here this is not glass. This is a plexiglass. The other side had a glass and plexiglass. I think both of these are actually plexiglass, so we don't have to worry about shattering the glass too much right here, at least. Thankfully. So as you can see, just uh, using a simple crowbar, the uh, window frame just pulls out pretty simple. All you got to do is uh, loosen up the nails, and uh, this window frame comes right out. So for the bottom seal here, this is the actual bottom of the window seal, that built-in window frame. 
So we're going to pull this out and I'm going to show you what's underneath. So I got the bottom piece of the uh, window sill out. But if you look here, it's quite odd. I'm not sure why they built it like this. This looks like a two by four here. Half of it's on the outside, half of it was in the inside, and this was sitting on the window. But if you look here, this wood is just rotted out because of course it's exposed to the exterior of the uh, house and that most definitely needs to be pulled out and replaced. Now let me come in closely here and show you. This piece of wood here is actually what they call the blind stop. It actually goes a couple of inches behind the uh, wall and the brick here on our house. And this is what our window will be flat against. So we're gonna leave this here if it's in good shape. I left the other one and uh, so off to the outside we go to remove the uh, molding and trim. All right, so now I'm on the outside here. We're gonna remove this uh, exterior trim right here. This is the trim here. This is the plexiglass in between it. And this piece of wood in the back is the blind stop that the window sits against. So I'm gonna remove this piece of wood here and uh, all the way around here, we're gonna get this removed. And then of course, here's the bottom uh, seal which is half outside and I'm gonna remove this this is all rotted out and we're gonna push this inside the um, the uh, house here so as you can see here the nails are pretty easy to find um, they're already uh, kind of popping out a little bit just take a crowbar okay so the uh, window is officially out the trims out now we got to get in here and uh, all this uh, Talking. We have to rip that out get this cleaned up. Uh, this is the uh, window stop here, okay? So if you can kind of see, it goes behind the uh, wall here in the brick. If this is in good shape, just leave it. Ours are just fine. I'm going to get some uh, paint stripper. We're going to paint, uh, strip all this paint off of here, clean this up, remove all the nails. As you can see on the other side, there are quite a bit of nails to uh, pop out of here and we're gonna get this uh, this piece of wood trimmed up cleaned up and we're gonna leave that right there now down here on the bottom like I was saying the window was sitting on this piece of wood here as you can see this is just all rotted here and we're gonna remove this whole piece and I'm actually gonna set this back here and we're gonna I'm gonna put a, a trush, uh, pressure treated piece of wood here and then we'll have the exterior trim sitting on the out, outside of the exterior of the window. So no more wood halfway inside and halfway outside. I'm not sure if this is the way they normally do it or not, but uh, we're gonna change it up a little bit here. All right, so I got this bottom loosened up and as you can see, you just hammer right through it. This thing is totally rotted. Now all you gotta do is uh, pull it out. And uh, this wood is totally rotted through, so most definitely need to remove this piece of wood. And if you look here, clean this all up here. This is the uh, gap that it was covering. Got the brick. And uh, this is the uh, frame of the wall here inside the house. So we're gonna put a new uh, pressure treated two by four for the window to sit on here. And I'm gonna put a new piece of uh, window stop for this piece here and then we'll have our exterior trim here so new 2x4 pressure treated new uh, window stop pressure treated here and then our exterior molding here all right so i'm no expert on doing windows for sure but here is a uh, this is a piece of metal that is holding the brick up i'm not sure what they call this as you can see uh it's kind of rusted here, rusting through the paint. So I'm gonna get this all cleaned up and I've got some uh, stuff to uh, stop rust from forming here. So we'll get this all cleaned up along this uh, top, which uh, holds up the brick. 
along the uh, window here so we got some uh, quite a bit of cleanup to do here get all this caulking out and uh, we're gonna strip some of this paint away and then we'll be ready to put the uh, window in now for the caulk uh, that's built up over the years I just take it with some pliers here and I just pull it and it uh, it just breaks off real easy all right for this metal uh, that holds up the brick along the top of the uh, uh, window here. I've used uh, some of the spray paint. This is uh, for rust, prevent rust from ever coming back. Hopefully, this is uh, here's what I use the rust reformer. Uh, so, hopefully, that will help prevent rust in the future. We'll just leave this black. Uh, so, we'll let that dry. So, here's the bottom uh, piece of wood I'm going to nail in place uh, using a pressure treated here just for a little more protection just sets in there like so we'll nail that down before if you remember it was actually let me see if I can get this out if you remember before it was actually sitting about halfway inside the house and halfway outside of the house like this pretty much but I'm gonna go ahead and set it all the way back and this is gonna the window is gonna sit on and then we will uh, put some trim on the outside we're gonna use actually a, a PVC trim on the outside, which will never rot and is uh, will last quite a while. So that's what we're gonna do. Nail this in place and we'll set the window, make sure this is level and set the window on top of here. So we got our uh, we pre-drilled some holes here. We have used four screws on um, each corner of the window, about two inches above. I uh, got these um, white exterior screws. I found we're going to use so that'll hold them in place. Make sure you get a screw that will uh, sink flat to the surface here, so they're not sticking out, so the window can open up and down like so. Now you got to do is screw them in. There you have it. All right, so as you can see, we got uh, our shims in here, and now we've got it screwed in. We'll just double check to make sure it's uh, square. Put your uh, square up here, and as you can see, it's perfectly square there. All you do is check each corner and make sure your shims are good. And then all you have to do is uh, make sure it opens and closes good. Make sure you got your nails flush where you screwed them in at there and it operates perfectly and that's all there is to uh, putting in a uh, replacement window. Next is uh, just to work on all the trim work and I'm going to also put some, uh, I got some foam window uh, filler here for insulation. We'll fill in these uh, open areas around the window. Here's the outside of the window we got uh, put in. As you can see here, I wrapped uh, some, this is a uh, window tape that we've uh, put around here to cover up this gap between the brick and the wall and everything. And this is setting under the window. Put some caulk on top of that and then set the window on some caulking and it should be all good. We're gonna trim this all out and this will be all covered up once we get our trim on here. We got our uh, wood all cleaned up and the paint cleaned off pretty good. We'll smooth that out. We got our uh, top piece here painted. No more rust is gonna be there. And now we just gotta work on doing the um, exterior trim and interior trim work. So pretty simple to put in the window. Just make sure you got the order the right size windows. And I'll uh, get back to y'all once we get all the trim done. All right, so there you have it. We got the uh, interior trim. I'll put it back in place. As you can see here, 
just a little bit of paint filling the nail holes and we'll be set for the inside next to uh, we'll, uh tackle the exterior trim work we're, we're going to use the uh, pvc trim. so for here though here's the windows that we ordered this is our american craftsman actually made by anderson windows single hung vinyl uh low e with grids so that's what we uh ordered we had a special order them and so those are the kind of windows that we installed in our garage. Okay, so I've got started on putting in some of this uh, PVC trim on the outside. I wanted to show you real quick what I'm using to fasten this. As you can see, I've already screwed this piece in. This is the base. I'm using a two inch square for the bottom, and then we're gonna do some uh, brick molding around the sides here in a second. But the screws I got here are a uh, for this PVC trim and it's pretty cool it comes in this little kit here um, for PVC trim it has a, uh, a special bit here that counter sinks it to the right just the right depth and then it has some of these uh, as you can see them down here plastic uh, plugs that will match the uh, PVC trim so it'll be uh, concealed all the way as you can see here so it uh, countersinks them and you've got a plug and uh, one thing you do have to use is a impact driver to get those in there so uh, pretty cool a little, little pricey for these screws but uh, to get the job done right and make it look good that's what we got to use so I'll get to uh, getting the rest of this uh, tram around the outside and then we'll uh, caulk it up and uh, seal it up and it'll be ready to be finished. Okay, so I got all my uh, PVC brick molding dry fitted here. Make sure it all fits in place. As you can see here, come around. I already screwed the bottom board in. So we got all the uh, brick molding just dry fitted and we'll uh, next uh, screw it in place. I'm gonna put a little uh, caulking behind there. They've got some grooves uh, behind the uh, PVC and I'm gonna put a little uh, caulking behind the uh, actual molding here to give it a good water seal just to make sure no water gets through here. So uh, we've got a dry fit next to to screw it in. All right, so there you have it. We got our windows in, the exterior trim. We use the PVC uh, molding that uh, will never rot and almost maintenance free. You just have to keep it clean a little bit. Got it caulked and sealed, waterproofed, and it looks a ton better than when we first bought the house. So there is our two windows that we uh, ordered and replacement windows, ordered them, put them in. The hardest part was doing all the uh, trim work on the outside and the inside since we had to replace all of it. So uh, next I'll show you the inside. All right, so here's the interior of our garage windows that we replaced. As you can see, we got all the trim on. I'm not sure if it shows up in the video, but we actually got some uh, window tinting. This is about blackout film, so when you're on the outside of these windows, you actually cannot see inside. Uh, but as you can see, you can see outside when you're inside the garage. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. As you can see, we got all the trim on and we uh, went with the uh, black trim paint for the garage here. And overall, it turned out very nice. Next is to install the rest of our uh, cabinetry and tables in the garage. So thanks for watching this uh, amateur homeowner install his own replacement windows in the house. Um, hopefully this will give you some ideas. Uh, maybe you could do it yourself and some save a lot of money in the meantime. So uh, thanks for watching.